Okay, on the last time of Grave of Man, we continued our uh, journey through the labyrinth, only to come across the brother of Crash, uh, whose name was Smash. And after uh, a short battle with him, also, did it also end with Drez plowing him into the wall? I think yes. So. Yeah, bo both of the Minotaur <laughs> twins are embedded in walls. <laughs> so after had, he was dealt with. twin deaths. We, we made our way towards what we perceived to be a possible exit point, only to find none other than Gorlar standing before the staircase, one arm amputated clean off, and uh, to say the least, he wasn't too pleased to see us. Well, he was to some extent. He actually revealed that he had intended for us to defeat both of the Minotaur brothers, which I thought was rather counterproductive for some kind of beast lord, crime lord, whatever he was. But in any case, uh, we were about to head on into combat, and we're just, I mean, the stories that Skitter tells about this guy were in fact true. When he punches someone, they go down. And uh, <laughs> I also narrowly missed having my uh, face cleaved in two. So, yeah. But just when it seemed like we had lost all hope, one of the cephalopodic squid men arrived. He chastised Gorlar for taking too long and playing around, I suppose. And after they were whisked away, the water level began to rise. So we ascended the stands in order to escape the coming deluge. And now we're overlooking the expanse of what is left of Zagnoth. So this is not Zagnoth proper. This is just the district you're in. Yes, yes. But yeah, it's there's of, more it's to this. Part but, of Zagnoth. Uh, the section you're in is actually fairly far down. So you can see uh, many of the other districts uh, up above you. Um, mm. The only thing below you at this point would be the slums that's visible. If I guess actually they'd be behind you. And, like, to the right, kind of uh, just falling back. I don't know. But it's, like, a long ways down, and you can't really see over the ledge that well. Um, but so that's that's it. So you guys can see generally uh, what's around you. There's a, a big fort, uh, kind of the ruins of a town. There's a big tree uh, that seems mm. to be kind of crossing the gap between here and some other place that you haven't been to yet. And it's effectively a giant bridge that has grown from where you guys could go to elsewhere. Anyway, the water's rising and you've got a bunch of little uh, water elementals uh, squirting around below you. Which is probably more more uh, pressing than the map. So I'm gonna just... <laughs> so, so we see the, we see the Zagnoth and the town and the tree and that's all places we haven't been yet? Yeah, you have not been anywhere on this map right, uh, right oh. now. Yeah. Mm. We basically just like beat the uh, first part of Final Fantasy VII when you leave Midgar and you see the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> and the primary plot device has been concussions. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's the primary Greg character development. We even got knocked out to get moved here from our previous map that we will probably don't ever access again. So... Uh, can we climb down the side of the arena, or was that to be too big? Oh no, there's water. There's water out there too. Oh, it's everywhere. Yeah, this you guys... entire chunk of land sinking. Yeah. So, uh, for for frame of reference, it's um, so the earthquakes. You've been slowly sliding down this entire time, mm -hmm. and there's just kind of a water level, and it's like about here. Everything below is like underwater, but you can still see it. But it's underwater and so the, it's raising. So the town is underwater. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. So what's the tree doing? Huh. Uh, Being underwater, apparently. Yeah. Huh. That really un. You could have drawn that version, and it would have taken way less time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, this was circle. this was for the eventual full map of Zagnoth, as opposed to the current temporary situation. <laughs> uh huh. And how far yeah. away is that yonder tower? Uh, you could swim there. 
Drez, maybe. Greg, no. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good, yes. does, does Greg suck at swimming? He's wearing really heavy armor. Like, he would definitely get way too tired. He could probably walk He's around underwater. He's been naked before in this campaign. This yeah, is true. Yeah, yeah um, if you want to use the wardrobe ring, Greg, you can. Oh, right. Just make that's sure that you put that, it on the device. setting with at least the swim shorts. Um, we, we literally have a solution for this in our inventory. <laughs> which uh, which setting was swim trunks? Uh, I believe it was the third? Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I pull a ring from... Wait, do I have a ring? Do I, I have, I'm, what, what I'm do I have in my inventory? Him. Oh, you have. That's what I had to keep back. Okay, I put on ring and I put on third, uh, third, one, third sitting. Yeah. And. Okay, uh, so Greg's uh, equipment disappears and he's left in his swim trunks, which is little more than some, uh, probably the bloodied the underwear. The, the tattered <laughs> outfit. <laughs> outfit. What am I saying? Yeah. Can you imagine a bugbear in a Borat thong? <laughs> Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's not. Bright green. <laughs> well, it won't sink him. Oh, interesting. Sure. In fifth edition, there is no uh, penalty to um, swimming in swimming heavy armor. With, with heavy armor. Oh, oh then I guess you it's don't a very it. commonly uh, accepted house rule. Yeah. Because a lot of people think of it as an oversight. Yeah, I would consider it as such. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of oversights in a universe where you have to build an entire universe out of math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as you guys are uh, fiddling with the rings and stripping anymore. Greg down to his skivvies, uh, <laughs> more of these things are showing up. They're kind of a consistent string, uh, stream. Drez, what are you doing, seeing as you're not interested in declothing Greg? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Generally it wasn't my disinterested interest. in this behavior. So this thing's coming up towards me? So you can actually see them inside and outside. They're kind of... They're going around. There's actually quite a lot of them. Um, oh. Kind of around, yeah. yeah. And are they bare? They have no crystals inside no, them, have they? No, they have no crystals. They're harder to see, so there could be more than the ones you've seen. These are just the ones that are, like, in your immediate area, and they're a little bit more obvious because they've got, like, uh, bubbles in them and uh, kind of, like, weird teeth-looking things. Ah, <laughs> uh, Alarin, exploit explanation! Okay, well, when when Vivi sent me down into the mines, these were the, the minions of the cephalopod, uh, well, I, I really wish there was a proper name for them. They're not, they're not the mind flares, right? No. They're Maybe? Not... You don't know what a mind flare looks like. You don't know a mind flare exists. Okay, well, okay, Drez, you saw that creature. Can you look it up in your manual? Can I? Uh, you can. What so does it say? Fairly accurate drawing of him, and next to it is question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. It doesn't say like Cthulhu <laughs> is my waifu. No. No, your uh, <laughs> your monster manual is uh, decidedly is not, unhelpful not, in most cases. It's, it's not advanced enough to have that kind of information. It's not the advanced D and D rulebook. <laughs> no, this is like this is like Pokemon. Remember when you uh. Before you caught when the you Pokemon, when you see something, you just get question yeah. marks. Yeah. When I first yeah, got it, the joke in my head is that I literally thought I found the monster manual to this game. Yes. <laughs> like yes. it's an extreme meta level there. How about the elementals? Okay, the water elementals are water thralls, and they're weak, uh, grunt, water elementals. Yes, but in great numbers, they'll slap you into oblivion. <laughs> Watch out for their water slap attack. It can be devastating. For and, your, and for I your had masculinity. To use, I had to use at least seven health potions to keep myself afloat. But I'm... <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, could so... You, could you imagine a bugbear and floaties? <laughs> <laughs> we can make it happen if you have floaties. <laughs> What's your thought? Their devastating splash attack will leave you sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I'm googling bugbear with floaties. <laughs> it probably doesn't exist. Did not get a result, no. I got a tardigrade. It's 
the weird results. <laughs> Whoa, we could probably God. Okay. Uh, so those are water bears, so yeah, so, uh, I guess somebody so. had floated the idea to me of like a uh, a item that would make Greg uh, submersible properly, and I was like, it should just turn him nah. into water bear. And I'm like, wait a second, that'd be like the worst thing. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's just a yeah, giant these, tardigrade. These, yeah, these uh. thralls are—they're in the service of these squid men. Yeah. And so, they were the ones that were after the crystals in the depths with the large leviathan. Uh, all right. Why are they here then? I mean, they seem to be sinking the entirety of Zagnoth. It—it it seems bizarre though because. Are the druids working alongside them? They seem like otherworldly entities, not at all affiliated with the druids. Uh, what do you think, men? Have you ever seen these things before? I've heard enough poison spray. <laughs> okay. Poison the water? And poison spray at an enemy, I can see it's a gas-based attack. Does it, have on, does it work I on things that are submerged? Know. Well, actually, My main attack is fire, and they're made of water is and he in water. the one that's currently to the north of us? I, mean, I, can, only, I can only really see one. Uh, oh, those yeah. ones just came in. Yeah, there's a couple. I want to look this up. Because uh, <laughs> that, I mean, I'll take it, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, Does poison huh. work on elementals? There's well, it's got a range of ten feet. It's way further away than ten feet from you, so you kind of puff poison at it, and it like floats at the thing, and it's like oh, yeah. you're right. That's a, that's dissipates. the close range spell. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Uh, why is Discord here? There we go. Damage immunity is poison. All right, that was a bad idea on every level. <laughs> Oh, uh, were you looking up water elementals? Yeah, that was going to be the next thing I'd check. I was like, yeah, I don't know it's if apparently immune to, to immune to poison and petrification and perilous, paralysis and frighten Whoa, and wait. grapple and unconscious. They wow. they're immune to petrification, but isn't that what I did with the ooze, or is the ooze something else? No, that's that's covering them in a uh, hardening foam. Okay, they're still down there. That's restraintment. Or are you, no, you broke them apart. You killed them. They would have still been down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my options are nil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can punch water. Uh, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't teleport out. And even if we were to teleport, it wouldn't be to a place that we'd want to go. Because the doorway that... I originally bonded myself to that is underwater, right? Uh, no, that's above you. Really? Yes, the warehouse district is above. Oh, okay. Well, would we know what's, that? What's happening with the rod? No, the rod is active. The rod is active. Oh yeah, Shell would know that because she came here on foot or yes. by, by yeah. swim. You went <laughs> down through the tunnel. It was me and Greg that don't know where we are. Right. Okay, guys, I should be able to teleport you. Well, us all, maybe? The interesting thing is, I don't know if I can tangibly go. Vivi had brought me with... Oh, I have to touch it myself. But I need to touch each of you in turn? I mean, we could just try. Right, but... I mean, if the warehouse district is dry... Alright, so it's the white ring. Uh, yep. And all of you guys have your sending stones so we can communicate? Actually, uh, I should probably mention, all of the rings are purple. Wait, purple? Yes. Wait. Purple? Yes. Does that, what does that mean? They're glowing purple. Uh, um. Uh -huh. that, that doesn't look right. Because before I had blue for Vivi and white for the door, did this reset? Oh, was it blue for Vivi? I thought it was purple for Vivi. Oh, okay, it's blue. Sorry. It's all VV color. All VV? <laughs> yes. Oh. Huh. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, maybe this is a sign. She did enchant the rod temporarily so that I could return to her. Um, and there's four of them. Uh, I'll use the sending stone. Vivi? It is dead. 
Oh. So you mean Vivi's line is dead? Yes. The Sending Stone is non-functional. In its entirety? All yes. the Sending Stones? Yes. So we couldn't even communicate with each other? No, you guys can. You guys can uh, prank call each other as much as you want, but Vivi's line is cut. We can prank call each other. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you called Vivi, you sent her a dying ogre, so... <laughs> is your refrigerator run? <laughs> we have ogre snack. Mmm. <laughs> Well, this isn't good, because if we make a break towards that tower, we wouldn't be able to climb it. Also, the water elementals would probably attack us along the way. Is the water still running? Yes, it is rising. still rising. Yes. Oh, goody. So we can't rest here for change spells. Nope. Um, no, we cannot. Um, uh, the thing is... How far I away does the tower look? Uh, the tower looks... It's a couple miles away. Uh, miles? Yeah, it's not It's not a short distance. Uh, this is a big area. And the water's full of enemies. <laughs> yes. The only thing well, I, could, I could see is using the rod. I, I mean, am definitely looking at my inventory right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not ideal. We don't even know if Vivi's still alright, but the fact that there's four rings to her, it must mean something. Do you remember what the ritual notes were that I have for all this time? You never no. read them. No, I mean, do you remember their existence and what they are? Yeah, I know what they do. Okay. Huh. Can I get any information from that if I look at okay. those? Okay, so, you know how to make that tree bridge that you saw. The tree bridge, that one way off in the distance? Yes. You're not sure oh. if you could make one that big, but this is the ritual for that. Oh. Well, isn't that relevant? <laughs> Um, details on how to make? Uh, so, it, uh, it requires a tree token, uh, the bigger the larger, and, uh, more or less, instead of going straight up, you can, uh, change its direction and use it as, uh, you know, a mean, means of, like, reinforcing buildings, bridging gaps, that kind of And how far away are we thing. from the next section of the city that isn't submerged? Uh, it would be, I mean, it's a couple hundred feet up tops. Maybe more. You can't get a tree up there. Okay. Well, what if I use the tower? Okay. The tower? Well, remember we got the literal tarot card. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> like you're going to summon an entire tower that just exists. Yes, but it would have to be right underneath us. <laughs> um... That sounds fatal. Yeah, sending us up into the sky wouldn't be the best. But Sounds otherwise, incredibly fatal. How would we be able to climb it, though? Can I envision one with a nice set of spiral staircases? Is that how this works? <laughs> what does I the mean, tower look like? The you're that... welcome to. Doesn't it have a picture of it? It's a card. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, everyone has their own artistic license when it comes to developing towers for tarot cards. Yeah, so, so what does the card look like? Yeah, what does it look like? It looks like a wooden tower with rickety wooden planks. What? It's not a nice looking tower. It looks kind of ratty. Embarrassing tarot like card. card. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a good tarot card. Well, it's made out of wood. That's something. Maybe we could build a raft with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I summon the rickety wooden tower. Doesn't wood work take like forever? So are you just waving the tower in the air? No, oh, I, I'm no. gonna I'm gonna like stand back guys oh, no. and I'm gonna plop it on the Inside other side. Inside the ring? No no no, like right here. Yeah. So that it'll be okay. at the edge of the ring. So you you toss the card oh, no. there. And instantly, just a giant tower that I can't draw past springs into existence and topples over the edge and then just floats there. <laughs> yes! All the wood we need! <laughs> um, I'm going to assemble enough slabs together. Uh, uh, you're assemble? Gonna, you're, uh, gonna, you're gonna make a raft 
out of the tower. Yes. With, oh. oh, I'm going to throw what? a glob. I'm gonna throw... where, where is your hammer to do no, this? No, no, no. I'm going to throw the glob of glippity gloop on top of it. And it's going to solidify together apart? just like super glue. Okay. So first off, back up. <laughs> How are you getting the planks off? Well, I... <laughs> Do we feel great eggs? No. <laughs> if there's one embedded in the wall in the water down below. You left uh, it down there. Um, I We mean, got the flood that I was unconscious. <laughs> I didn't have time. Besides, well, I have sword. With your superior <laughs> strength, Fred, could we Russian tear animals. them off? I mean, this is rickety. You described um, it as rickety. It's kind of floating away. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> um, well, no, I, I put it on the edge. It shouldn't be. Oh, it fell in the water. Yeah, it partially. fell over. This is not. Greg. This is not like a big solid surface. These are like features that I, you're I standing on. I attempt to pull off blank, but they can't. Drez can uh, use his vine whip to grab a couple. Right. To grab a couple. What does that mean? I don't know. Enough just to make a rift. <laughs> Go on, give it some. I can see if. Rolling the vine whip maybe pulls it back onto the shore. <laughs> yeah, you can constrain the tower with the vine whip. It just kind of like limpets onto it. Yeah! However, you cannot get planks off. No, but I can get it to not be floating away in the yeah, water. Yeah, so you are, you are now the anchor for the tower <laughs> that is floating there. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> okay, Greg. <laughs> uh, you want to make the pull? Yeah, Wait. yeah, but I'll use a bar inspiration. Why don't we just get on it? It's floating already. <laughs> well, don't... <laughs> because you tried to steal this rift. <laughs> Am I... Do I have any ability to open the other sealed book yet? <laughs> uh, no. It is... It is Damn it. still locked. <laughs> how, how tall is this uh, tree again? Uh, so it's a tower. It's... Yeah. Um, it's 15, uh, 15 feet wide, 15 feet deep, and 30 feet tall. And it's about ten feet of it is underwater. It's basically, a whole boat. Yeah, yeah that's what was... but we can't really like paddle it. I mean, were we going to be able to paddle her other raft either? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how are we supposed to to? Hmm. That feel when a kobold is the brains of the operation. <laughs> he does have the highest intelligence in the entire party. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. God, he's the Maybe smart I'll up guy. My stat. <laughs> he's our Jim from the office. Oh no. It's, and we're all Dwight's. <laughs> <laughs> he just every moment there... must be him. The only reason the why camera. I suggested to make it into a Do raft I... is because A steerable, B a solid platform, C not How would it be steerable? Yeah. Where are you getting these boat building tips from? Do you have like a magical sail uh, see, and like a Kenku leaf? I... Or when it, uh Korok? What it called? Korok leaf, not Kenku leaf. Is yeah, there, are there any other relevant surprises in my mystery assassin okay. bag? We haven't Skitter deconstructed the Skitter is now standing on the yet. raft because the water is up to your feet. Oh, oh god damn okay. it. I'm Bye. Just on to, onto oh, the, the tower. Way. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything's bad. Yeah. Okay, just so retcon I'm, those lines because she could not have been building anything. And <laughs> can I use my mage hand to, like, paddle us forward? <laughs> So here's the sad thing. It'll yes, be... you can pull the tower along with the mage hand. No, you don't move very fast. Yes, but it's it's gonna be a nice little rudder in the back, and it's gonna plittle around. And it's gonna... <laughs> All right. Maybe it'll so, maybe it'll spin like. So you have largely no control over this thing. I'm gonna reveal some and move you guys in. So you guys are now in a. <laughs> Let's set this up. You guys are now roll for initiative. This is boat uh -oh. battle time. <laughs> Damn it! Oh god, we so have, I have a... rested and no spells. Battle uh... on a boat. I have no boat. health. I mean, literally, as far as I can tell, I have no health. Uh, you but... have like five, was it, or is it nine? Dress still has you. Dress still has healing potions. Oh man! One one rough thing is that I, 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 I actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a solution yeah, for yeah, the problem yeah, if only yeah, I had my spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because yeah. I, I, I had gust of wind memorized. I could do a continuous stream of wind for a sailboat. But I'm exhausted and I can't do anything. Ever. Fun fact, Alaren can do that. Wait, I can do what? Gust of wind. Oh yeah, You that also I have can. that spell? But we sail him, of course We'll you need can. a sail of some sort. Skithid can be sail. You should be I mean, the sail. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly away. <laughs> yeah, I've had gust of wind this whole time, but that whole section of my spell book is impossible for now. Okay, so the at this point, you actually, uh, mostly for my own convenience, but you guys have floated over the arena. Wait, we're going the wrong direction. I uh, there is a current, yeah. Uh -oh. oh no. That's a lot of things I can't go probably exactly hurt. The worst way it could have. And you guys are being beset by, uh, <laughs> nyeh. Oh God. And you see, I thought that we were going to be able to like float over, and then grow well, a tree. Well, they can climb out of the water. They're not purely aquatic, but they're in the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get her. Well, initiative it is then. <laughs> Oh no. You see, I wanted Th things to, I can't hurt with poison or fire, so probably. Drez could make his tree so that then we could climb out. Let's see, uh, my. My. my uh, didn't my monster manual thing work on the elementals? Okay, yes. So do it I know. Did. Do I know whether fire would work at all? Uh, fire will boil them up, yeah. Oh. Unexpected. Yeah. They are. They're not exactly the most cohesive creatures. They're kind of cheap and easy to mass produce. Oh. Well, and this is why we don't make assumptions. And then shoot poison for 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> it does say that they're not, they're, they are still elementals and not poisonable. Yeah. I, shoot, I shot something that was both the wrong range if, and the wrong if, type of attack. So if anything, nothing. if you poison them, chances are that poison's gonna come back at you. You will have made the po the very first poison thrall. <laughs> okay. Poison elemental. Uh, it's the elemental of regret. Okay, so they go. Roll I stole again. That joke too. God roll, damn it. A, roll again, Keith. Again? Yes. Oh, because of somebody else. Tied. They are. No, it's it's their turn. So they're. Uh, well, no, they rolled the same as you. So we got to do a, a roll off. A roll okay. Off. Yeah. So just roll. Okay. Well. So you go first. Well. They are slow and they are shitty, but there are they are sometimes many. I, I guess see. What, how does Greg look? Greg looks injured. He's got four health, five health, some something like that. Yes, it sounds about the right. Well, Can I just say... throw my bag of potions at him? <laughs> uh, you could. Like, you could. Conceivably, like, try and huck... Like a cluster heal? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh... Can I get, like, a better brown for this? No, that's like... Oh, wait, bad. what was the Potion of Healing's roll again? Uh, so you actually have some higher level Potions of Healing thrown in there. Oh. Do I know that, though? Uh, they healed them extra earlier. Roll a Perception check to see if you had noticed. Whether or not he healed more? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, you were very aware. I, these I can are... see the Matrix, blonde, redhead, brunette. Yeah, these are some high quality healing potions. <laughs> they smell like grape. <laughs> Yummy. Let's see, am I able to do two healing actions in a turn? Yeah, if I'm not, like, moving that would be your only stuff? thing, to just huck healing potions at Greg. Well, I was going to throw one at him and use one myself. Okay, go for it. Okay. What's the roll for this? Four die four plus four. <laughs> and just like that, somebody else left the stream. <laughs> but, wow. Well, those are identical. Nice. Yeah. All <laughs> those right. are identical rolls. Well, you guys are feeling hailer and hardier. Well, hey. Well, okay. that was more that was more than a Gorlar punch. That was. <laughs> okay, so then it's their turn. Yeah. 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 Well <laughs> they like Greg. Yeah. Wait, they can Who see Skitter? Like uh Skitter has not hid yet. 
I have oh. not gotten rid of his ninja icon. I'm just it kind of wears off if he skitter. starts. It kind of wears off if he starts doing things with you guys again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they are going to start. Uh, okay, so maybe if the maybe the giant bulls are all floating around, we can use them as rafts. Michelle, then Greg. They're bloated. Then you. Torn they, they miss all of you. Do they really? <laughs> do they, I like to think they do it all at once. Just a simul miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of this like thunderous nick, <laughs> and then just like this tremendous whooshing noise as they completely whip it. Are there currently bloated minotaur corpses floating around? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, so they are below you. You can see, still embedded in the wall, the Dark Souls ragdolls of uh, <laughs> of Crash and Smash. Kind of like wiggling around as the current of water like moves them. <laughs> there are two goblin fixtures. corpses that are like floating away though. Actually, there's like some more. Oh no! Oh, because even more of them would be dead now. Yeah, those two that ran off maybe. Uh, mm. but yeah, there's like two over here too. Okay. Anyway, it's, move them uh, in the right configuration. It'll start to look like a witness puzzle. Ah. Uh, okay. Of corpses. Uh, <laughs> so it is now. Um, witness two, revengeance. Really wish this thing would automatically go. It's now uh, Elrond's turn. Lauren. Lauren. Okay. I will attack with my rapier at the one to my right. Well. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Sweet. Aw. Uh, you hit. It dies. Yay! These things are not, uh, not the most durable. Of all the things you guys had to get beset by while sitting around on a raft, this is actually not so bad. Um, anyway, it is now, uh, Skitter's turn. Skitter is going to miss. Roll a two. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. He really only had to get a 12 and he got a 11. That's sad. Okay, uh, Greg, it's your turn. It's a I've plus got nine? Pickup. I'm yeah. going to pick up one, and I'm going to smack it into other. Okay. <laughs> First, roll to grapple a living blob of I'll water. What does what that roll? Uh, just roll a die 20. That is strength. That is strength. You do not. You. What you do instead is you just shove your hands inside of it. <laughs> it's cold. Um, well... <laughs> you can't get any purchase on anything there. I guess that ends it. I want to feel you on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking at you coyly. Or <laughs> nyehly. You're not really sure. It doesn't really have much of an expression. Just teeth. Okay. And it is Drez's turn. And fireball. Oh no. <laughs> And so well, it begins. Not great okay. first impressions on the whole fire versus water thing. Okay, so starting with Skitter. Okay, so Skitter gets clubbed once. Owie. Okay, uh. Then Alarin. Miss Drez. Okay, so this one falls back in the water. And it sinks. <laughs> it kind of like tries to bat at you and then just teeters over and falls back with a splash. <laughs> these, thing, these icons look like you're doing a parody of the uh, Jaws cover that just goes... <laughs> uh, that may or may not... Uh, so I did this in about five, maybe ten minutes. And I was Dude. just like, I need something quick. And Sharks so I made the, always look stupid as hell. I made the dopiest shark water elemental that actually looks like Patrick Starr. Sort of. <laughs> if they're Patrick Star crossed with Jaws. <laughs> yeah. And then was made out of water. Because it's got the, like, Patrick Star body, but, like, uh -huh. kind of a shark face instead. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, it is now Alarin's turn. Okay. I'm going to attack the one to the north of me. Okay. Ah! Well, you yeah. had a good idea. Your rapier has dried out. Oh, How does this keep happening? Can I, like, sloop it up? Like, suck the elemental into my rapier? Uh, you can try <laughs> on your next turn. Ah. 
Okay. Morbid. Uh, uh, and then skitter, skitter hit. Lauren's like, I swear this doesn't normally happen. Shush. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. As the extendo weapon shrinks up and dries <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just been so long since I hit somebody. Greg, it's your <laughs> it turn. It really has. <laughs> hey, I just right. killed another water elemental last turn. I, I'm i still committed to Smackadoo. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so what you kind of do is you, like, try and lift it up and your hands just kind of karate <laughs> chop upwards and it just is staring at you. <laughs> you do one yeah. damage to it. <laughs> for water loss. Yeah. <laughs> it's leaking. Yeah, it is leaking. Actually, now roll, roll, uh, eh, I guess you actually do like a substantial amount of damage to it now that I'm thinking about it, because technically you did an unarmed attack and then a second one. Yeah, What's you actually, it? you kind of ripped the thing apart. <laughs> All right. Earlier it was fine because you were stopping it, but then kind of the ripping upwards was the, yeah, it's gone. Okay. Anyway, uh, so it is Dress's turn. Yours is nowhere to be seen. I mean, it's on the map, but it's like deep down there. Your fireball yeah, so th is there's not only that. there's only one thing to attack in line of sight now. Yes. Let's try. Okay. <laughs> Greg, well. a fireball goes whizzing past your head. Well. <laughs> we just have the worst rolls against these, these things. These things have the aura of RNG. <laughs> oh man. It, okay. This is how our party dies. Yep. Against like. Okay, so Shell, you get smacked. Oh. We're gonna get killed by water balloons. And uh, <laughs> Keith, yours shows back up. Okay, so, so I got five damage. We are beset by desp Despicable Me minions. <laughs> you get two. They really are. I almost <laughs> regret that. <laughs> Do you though? Do you really? I mean, they're probably better than the minions, so I don't regret that part. <laughs> If they ever get to be as big as minions, somehow, I'm killing the series. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think that's going to be a... <laughs> that's problem. a very yes. irrational concern. <laughs> but I'm glad that you've planned for what's going to happen if My you take life. off like the, the, like the this is fine dog and you have an exit <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Everybody do the flop. Okay, uh, so it is now Alaren's turn. Okay. Let's go for ASDF. My blade thirsts for sustenance, which happens to be the very material of your of your corporeal form. And I just, <laughs> I just oh, th God. thrust the hilt of the blade into the water elemental. Okay, give me a die 20 oh. just because RNG. Just makes the most disgusting yeah. slurping noise. It's like, like, it's like the end of okay, a Okay, one die 20? Yes. Just okay. Come on! Yep. Every, okay. You've made this mistake. So, your weapon is sentient. Now that those noises have happened, the entire <laughs> thing disappears into the hilt of your rapier with a yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh it's my God. Oh no! You set up the rapier so it's gonna make lightsaber noises. You can swing your rapier with yang. It's like you flush the water a You do now so have a set. Uh, not a. Uh, Full sentient, but a semi sentient water <laughs> elemental inside your rapier. So, well, it we'll, best be loyal we'll to We'll figure me out what that does later. <laughs> Plus one oh to damage, God. minus two to hit. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. Well, you did it. This is yes. the dumbest kid. Skitter misses again. We only have ourselves to blame, though. <laughs> okay, Greg, it's your turn. Uh, wrong set to mix together. I would uh, normally beat you like egg, but you're not egg, so I'm just going to beat you. Okay, so you just <laughs> slap the Minotaur upside the head. Roll damage. Oh, Wait, the Minotaur? Or oh, right, not Minotaur. Uh, <laughs> well, sorry, somebody in chat was asking about the Minotaurs. Uh, you you slap the the water a, uh, water an thrall. Attack again? It would be actually it's just seven damage. Well, that's actually. Still enough to slap well, the shit be, out of it. Uh, seven plus my strength modifier, yes. Well, it would be it would be seven damage flat, because oh. unarmed strikes are one unless you've got gauntlets or something special, like oh, being okay. a monk. 
but these things are shitty and weak, and I mostly brought them so you guys would feel hurried. And I'm regretting nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, so it is Drez's turn. It has to work eventually. Yes. Nope. It, okay. <laughs> so, like, it it diminishes substantially, despite the the low damage, as your uh, as your your produced flame. It's just like a it. sad water, like soccer ball. And like, ha have you ever had like a uh, uh, like an iron, and you like press the button and it lets out all that steam? Yeah. Yeah, that that's pretty much exactly what happens. So you've got like half of a water elemental looking at you now. And then I am boiled alive. <laughs> <laughs> it is, hey, it's toasty. You're feeling a little a little cooked. Okay. Then. Oh no. Come Skitter by Dress's spa at the end of the world. Skitter gets smacked and uh, it misses Dress. Poor, poor Skitter has taken all the damage from this fight. That's good. Which is unusual. I mean, yeah, I it is. It's He's not okay with it. it. It's his turn. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually looking kind of bad. Oh no. Okay. Uh, it is uh, Lauren's turn. All right. Now? that my weapon has been filled. Still don't know with what precisely. <laughs> um, I'm going to stab at the water elemental with my newly infused blade. Okay. Yeah. Mm yeah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. So what happens <laughs> is... Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. No! You fire a water elemental out of your sword and it goes... Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> And like splashes over here. <laughs> I, I fix him like. Oh. <laughs> oh, that didn't last long. Why? How uh, you, you critically God. failed three times with that <laughs> weapon today? <laughs> Four, I think. Is this? Is there something wrong with it? I'm looking. Oh wait, no, it was a critical it fail on the damage store. roll. <laughs> Just bring it back to Vivian. It's just like you broke it. <laughs> That's what Please I was fix. thinking. Wait, you know, that was on its attack, God. right? It failed oh on its attack God. roll. Okay, Skitter is gonna. Uh, well, there goes Skitter's dagger. Oh, oh my oh God! My that well, one of Skitter's many actually daggers. gonna dive into the water after it. <laughs> that was the magic one. How you, oh, he's no. gonna chase a metal object underwater when he can't yep. swim. I oh, he has still the mantle on, right? He has the mantle. The mantle of swimmy good. He's got the form <laughs> it of actually, the, man, so the mantle of swimmy good. Unfortunately, I don't think the uh, the the cloak of the manta ray actually gives you swimming anymore. It just makes it so you can breathe underwater. So he's just gonna live underwater now and never we we'll never see him again. <laughs> Alaren's yeah. gonna have to drag him back up to the well, surface. <laughs> if you yeah. toss him a rope, he can drag the raft. Oh no! Well, Skid Swimming, Skidders clev Skidders Swimming clever. speed Maybe of like sixty feet. Never mind, I'm wrong. That was oh. like the last thing which I didn't read. Okay. I was, th I was thinking like maybe Skidder would be clever and like tug on one of the Minotaurs till it comes on lodged and then float up with it. Ew. <laughs> it's really, it's really gross. probably he is clever enough for that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it is uh, Greg's turn, and then Drez. Really? You guys can do the same thing. But yeah, Skitter uh, can what, swim now, apparently. What what am I supposed to do again? I sorry I missed. It's your turn. Oh. Uh I walk over here and I uh we 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 Are you like away from your mic or something? Yeah, sorry, I was I was Are you drunk? At that thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got this strict. Uh we'll we'll actually stay with weapon, how about? It's been a while since I've done that. It might be fun. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no. well, See, these things are just perpetual bad luck. You hear, you hear <laughs> as like Skitter's like submerging. I'll get it. <laughs> it disappears How underwater. How did this party just do three critical misses in a row? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Holy no. crap! I'm afraid of my turn. <laughs> Drez, it's your turn. Luckily, you can't drop fireballs. Oh, wait. I can on this wooden raft. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Do it. <laughs> okay, you couldn't oh, think of it. It just steams the rest of it. It's gone. 
critical success. Oh, I sapped all of your luck out. Do you guys mine understand? Now. You can't have it back. Do you guys understand how these things almost murdered uh, Lauren down in the mines now? Uh. <laughs> these, every encounter with these things is the best thing ever. I don't. I still don't understand that because I've never watched those videos. <laughs> It's, it, it'll ruin my player <laughs> knowledge. So if, since I wasn't there, I'm just going to not experience those episodes till after the campaign. Mm-hmm. Eh, after a certain, uh, how about uh, for the next long rest, Shell can tell the story, and you can go watch the episode if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Grave of Man Z. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, actually, it's the one at your feet. It's going to. Oh my god! Miss the you raft completely. changed size. <laughs> and the one you shot out of your sword is going to try and go after Skitter and still misses. Okay, Alarn, your turn. You you summoned so, an elemental to so attack Skitter. My, my, my rapier yeah. is empty, right? Yeah, I mean, you can try and absorb it again. You could try absorbing the entire ocean so that we can go back down to land. There's another water <laughs> elemental in front of you. Just absorb How big them. will the that's sword be at that do. point if she absorbs the ocean? Wait, why is it a four that's blue? Uh, I don't know. What is that's wrong? Weird. I rolled a die 20. Try rolling another die 20. Huh. Well, you miss. Barely. Maybe yours are just that color? What? A 19? Yeah, no, your no, no, previous roll four. was also that color. Yeah. Oh. I think your dice are just that color. What? No one else is rolling dice. That's weird. Yeah. I'm doing just attack rolls, not dice rolls. Yeah, I have, I have macros programmed. Yep. Uh, here, Keith, can yeah, you I try scrolled just... all the way back to our last session, and and you still had those bright teal, and water didn't. Oh, maybe huh. it's because um, that's the color I have currently selected. I oh, wonder... yeah, 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 Keith, roll a die. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna change my color to yeah. purple. So yours is a dark green. If Bird rolls his, oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, I see. How did you how did you change that? Do you like click on the? You thing? click on the color next to your name. And it changes the color. It not only changes the color that you oh. paint with, but the color that you, um, I think? Yeah. No, well, no you, you manually select your paint color while you're painting. But you okay. can also manually it, select It might your default dye to color. your color. That's cool. Poor audio listeners. Anyway, uh, so. <laughs> they brought it upon themselves. They uh, have active imagination. Hold Greg, on. it is your turn. We're you're giving are, them many ammunition. You are naked, save for your skivvies, on a raft with no sword. What do? <laughs> Ponders the universe. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, oh shit. Um, sorry. I'm I'm very distracted at the moment. Okay. I go here, and uh, well, punch. <laughs> you miss. Roll. Uh, now nah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, Drez, it's your turn. Well, you be I can't even one. see any of them right now, can I? You can see the one that uh, Alaren's fighting. Because it's kind of like half out of the water and it's like, nyang at her, at her feet. <laughs> I have so many questions about the physics of how it works if you throw fire at things that are in water. <laughs> it's like half out. It's not like full at, full in, full out. Only one way to find out. Okay, you... It, uh, it dissolves, or it steams up, and they do not Goodbye. have much HP. Goodbye! <laughs> now the only one is the one that, that Elharin sicked on Skitter like a dog. Hey! It, it was an accident. I, I didn't know what it would do. Okay. I just thought I had a new source of water for my rapier. You see Skitter stab it, and it just kind of like uh, melts melts and then he comes <laughs> swimming up with the great sword hi guys got your sword oh thanks skitter sorry about that didn't know that that could happen the whole elemental emerging from my rapier thing okay so I'm gonna dip the rapier back in the water okay so you, you get your rapier so the entire time this has been happening you guys have actually been um, drifting yeah you've been a, drifting. you've been drifting so let me uh, let me copy this. You guys are... I don't have these areas set up for uh, being underwater. But you guys are... Here. Uh, I'm on the right layer, right? Good. 
No. Got rid of the raft. Uh, I know how to make us underwater. Oh wait, that wasn't filled. Awkward. Give me a second. <laughs> Boom! I did it. I uh, I have another map for this, <laughs> but I now uh, we're underwater. <laughs> I have another map for this, but I I messed up. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me drag you guys over. So you guys have actually drifted quite a fair ways. I mean, not quite. This this is like half a mile out, so it takes a little while. But you're here now, Grass and you're above it. And trees. You're like well, no, because of, we're floating over it. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's like you know a good twenty feet underwater. Oh, never mind. You can see it as you're going by, though. Why would you like this in, in trees? This should be happy thing. Because you, you have water everywhere. Well, the type of water that the Tritons dwelled in was actually quite deep. It was sort of a a dark realm, and with fighting the Le Leviathans and all, it's just it's just nice to explore the terrestrial places. People don't have to so, worry about... Well, what am I saying? There are monsters attacking us right and left. <laughs> but... <laughs> what, uh, so what kind of water drink you? Can you swim in salt water, fresh water? Either. Fresh water? Oh. That's cool. Yep. I mean, salt water stings a little bit more. Though we're, mm. we're suited for it. Fresh water is just invigorating. What is this kind of water? This kind of water is brackish and disgusting. Oh. I mean, think of all the refuse and the corpses that are floating around in it. I mean, a yeah, whole city, we, a whole we've city lies in a lot us. of corpses to the to the to the water supply, haven't we? Good times. Mm-hmm. That's not what brackish means. Really? I thought brackish is like disgusting and dank and it's the midpoint between fresh water and salt water oh really oh interesting oh i always thought it was like muddy and disgusting water i took yeah. hydrogeology oh <laughs> then then what would you call very muddy water swamp maybe i don't know muddy water no that was banned from 1970s <laughs> on the on the on the list of uh, things you study for geologic makeup, gross is not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so what was this? Was this a park in the city that is no longer um, park, but instead water park? But um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is you have this is like kind family. of nice. This is kind of like a nice looking grove thing. Uh, down below, it looks like, you know, maybe maybe it was a park, maybe there were other things, but whatever was down here, uh, most of it is either, you know, too far underwater to see. Uh, the, like, green shrubby things are bushes, trees, kind of whatever. And is there anything uh -huh. above us? No, no birds alight in the sky, or... If there were, they'd be so high up, they don't seem to be terribly interested in coming down into the pit of Zagnoth. Wow, this is this is how easy it is to draw a map for like a crappy iOS game. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This is about the level of effort I've seen before in actual video games. Yep. <laughs> I was Holy thinking crap. about that as I was doing this. It's like I should go into mobile game development. And then I <laughs> threw that idea away. I I put generally more effort in other places. This one was just quick because there's not much to do here, especially because right. it's underwater. Okay, so you guys are just that, you're you're just letting that's the really tower unnerving to look at. Yeah. Oh, me dragging you guys. To. Yeah, we'll, we'll just float away. We have okay. no interaction options that'll work right now. Yep. So we're so actually, at the mercy. As you're on this raft... We're sort of short resting on the raft, right? Yeah, you are. You do you do get a short rest if you want it. I have no Sorry. hit dice, so... <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so I'm bringing you to the next map. I need a long rest so bad. Yeah, we, we all need long rests so bad, but we're not going to be resting on a raft. Okay. So you guys are coming along. Uh, let me drag you over some more. So you guys are here now. This is still mostly underwater. This time around, the, the water is down. It, uh, as you guys have... Oh, come on. Um, as you guys have been on this raft... Uh, I assume you guys can't see anything. Well, actually, that kind of works. Um, 
as you guys have been on this raft, the water level has actually been going down, and there is a uh, a dull roar the whole time as you get like further and further along. Oh, uh, uh, we must be heading towards a cliff. Uh, uh oh. Okay, give me a second. I have. I can't. I I can't get this. The I can't move the raft anymore. I guess I'll just delete the raft uh and then remake the raft. <laughs> Splish, splish. Wait, we're level three? Yes. Yep. Equal to half my druid level rounded up. <gasps> I can oh, get a level no. two spell. <laughs> a level six? With what? No, I can get, I can get a level two spell. <laughs> oh, okay, level two. Yeah. Okay, to back. There we go. Okay, now you guys can get on the raft. So at this point, um, the roof of... Two things are above the water level. The church building that you're currently uh, headed towards and the uh, the kind of weird thing in the center of the park. The like tip of that is available. And the water is going off the side uh, in droves. Like it's flooding pretty quick. Uh-oh, so you mean okay. it's like a waterfall. Yeah, like you're headed for a waterfall. Into nothingness. Oh. Into nothingness. Huh. Okay, but if we were to step out onto the church... Yeah, so it's a it's a church roof. It's above the water. And the water isn't rising. No. It is and that's like the only draining, right area here. we can find? Yes. Okay, let's... I'd, I'd be really alarmed if we were this close to a waterfall and the water level was rising still. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's moor onto the church. All in favor of not dying? Aye! Aye. Thorn whip? That's not how that works at all. It worked earlier. Do you have rope? That'd be like grabbing onto a church to pull it closer to me. Well, can't it pull us towards yeah, them? Yeah, if... I think that's larger than a large creature. My my house rules is, if it's bigger than you, it pulls you, you pull yourself to it. Magic so if, plot device cantrip, go! Well, yep. then it wouldn't have worked for the Minotaur. Oh, no, I hurt the wall. Then. Well, no, 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 no. Like, uh... <laughs> Immobile. Uh, so, it works on things that are large size, but if he tries to use it on, like, a dragon that's, like, gargantuan or huge, then he more or less just drags himself towards it. Well, also, we're floating on a raft, so it makes sense that... That'd be the, that'd be the Nero from Devil May Cry 4 move. Yeah. Or Attack on Titan or, like, any number of other funny things if you want to do it. Wow, that's got a long range too. Okay. okay. So we're on the roof. Yeah. So the tower actually kind of splinters at it as it like crashes into the church roof. Um and it leaves like a solid hole before it kind of like disintegrates Wait, into Wait, it left a hole in the church? Wood. Yeah, there's there's oh, like a hole nice. in the roof below you. Oh great. Oh, no. Forgive me, father, for I have crashed into your building. <laughs> <laughs> um but now you guys are the on same the, ring to it. For uh, now, you guys are on the uh, the roof of a stranded of a church. on a there's, church at the end of the world. Yeah, there's a bell tower uh, next to you that goes up like another twenty something feet. There's a bell, uh, and it's kind of quiet except for the you know really loud roar of the water. I guess so. I, not this so quiet. church would be so obliterated by this massive <laughs> water going by it. <laughs> oh God. It is held together mostly by plot device. <laughs> by magic, because it's D&D. &D. Yeah. It's Vivi's magic, woo. Speaking of, um, is Vivi going to answer any calls? Uh, you could try. Um, Vivi? Nope. Oh. And <laughs> it actually says that, <laughs> the thing says that to you. Damien says nope. <laughs> nope. From your nope. backpack, you hear nope. just like a nope. <laughs> Oh, that was the that That's was the Damien. the thing's name. Um, Damien. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 br I bring Damien out of the backpack. Thank you. Um, so uh, can you see? No. Uh, then let me describe our current situation to you. We are standing atop a holy house of worship, at the precipice of a massive waterfall into a deep abyss. And, and, I, I just get really sad. Oh, oh, 
Uh, how should how would we get out of this situation? Sleep. <laughs> I mean, we we do need to rest up our spells and stuff, but uh, I mean, for once he has a point. Thank you, Damien. You're welcome. I, I put him back in the bag. <laughs> Why would we Let's listen? look around. Have a nice evening. You too, Damien. Uh, Whatever. Have a nice evening. <laughs> it's a clock. <laughs> no one, no one, it can tell time. It's midday. Uh, All right. <laughs> I guess we're right. to go Time to disregard everything that thing said. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we should rest up. I mean, there you doesn't the, seem to be yeah, any. Can you really danger. conceive of resting at the time like this? I'm mm. down for it. <laughs> Skitter like lays himself on the like kind of apex to make sure he doesn't slide off in his sleep, and he's out. yeah. Isn't this a slanted roof? Yeah, yeah. he's oh, like God. it doesn't look comfortable, but he's doing it. I I'm gonna sit down and watch over him. I don't want him to fall into the water. Is it even possible to take a long rest on such a, like, an un- You notice easy... he's, like, stabbed himself into the, uh, roof. Oh, you mean, like, he- He's got water. daggers in both hands, and, like, has angled some other ones, so he's, like, kind of belted in. <laughs> oh, wow. wait. He's the most ridiculous character at this point. <laughs> oh, wait, so you mean that, um, he's holding the daggers. Yeah, he's holding the daggers, but he's got, like- he's... Remember, he's got like he's 30 set up like a skitter pachinko <laughs> area. Yeah, he really is. He's he's uh, he's got thirty some odd daggers, so he's like braced himself with some knives at his feet <laughs> and like oh belt God. loops, and he's not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> like Gulliver's tail. Never mind then. I'm gonna go up into the tower and find a more suitable spot for me to sleep. Okay, so there is you go all the way up, and the bell tower is largely untouched, and there's uh, ample space. It's about a well, I guess a 20-foot yeah, by 20-foot room. room. Is uh, it too bedroom? far down? That's underneath. Okay. Sorry. Underneath I, I didn't water. do the bell tower because there's Jack all up there. Um, but it's a, you know, it's like Did you ever expect this to platform. be on the roof of this building? Nope. <laughs> I did not expect you guys to make a tower raft off of the yeah, joke item I gave you. I was thinking you. about that. I'm like, there's no way this was planned, right? This was <laughs> no, weird. None of, none of this was planned. <laughs> this took the weirdest direction. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um... I, I want to take a good look at the bell. Okay, it is a big old bronze bell. It's covered in depictions of um, of people fighting, for the most part. Can uh, I do, like, a history check just to sure. see if this has any significance? Uh, the significance is... Did I screw up on these benches? Oh, I did. I got oh. a really high roll. Okay, so this bell tells a brief history of Zagnoth. Oh. Um, and it's on the many, many wars that uh that they had uh gone through against to secure their place in the world largely everybody um okay so the uh the leadership of zagnoth is not exactly the most um peace loving well all i've heard about are like the mages yeah and so you know for the most part it was actually a center of you know industry and a rather wealthy kingdom and stuff like that but overall, the uh, the people actually in charge in Zagnoth, you know, the nobles, the the king, the queen, they're all fairly warmongery, and they like to throw their weight around a lot. So they like to, huh. you know, conquer nearby countries, go after, mm -hmm. uh, you know, smaller populations, and, you know, just kind of expand the kingdom of Zagnoth uh, under their, their reign. Hey, guys, I don't think the druids were necessarily wrong in... Uh Destroying this civilization. Just too, bad the civil too bad the civilians were caught in this, though. Man. I mean, they waged war against anyone they could for personal gain. Anything else to the bell? Uh, no, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, this tells a specific battle, but... I can make up the details, but it's not going to be relevant. Okay. Well... I will I will curl up in and take a nap. Well, that exhausts our list of locations. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll take a nap too, but uh oof. Sure pick okay. a place to do it. The, uh, just this nightmare waterfall like waterfalls are loud by the way. Oh yeah, it's like oh, yeah. deafeningly it's pretty, loud. Well, but so the interesting it's, part it's, is it's not actually as loud as you think. <laughs> Uh, the part about the waterfall that's so loud is the water hitting, and yeah. that's so far down, 
it's pretty quiet, actually. It's mostly just the sound of rushing water. Yeah. So much rushing water. But I, I also think that for our characters, they've probably been awake for like 20 hours at this point. You guys are were on your last legs on multiple... I mean fronts yeah health yeah. health potions mana crystals <laughs> we woke uh, up in jail then fought our way out of jail in multiple directions and fought an arena once or twice getting knocked out multiple times in some of our cases yeah. then Mostly fought Greg. water elementals after Mostly swimming Greg. <laughs> the, 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 yeah exclusively greg actually exclusively uh, greg. in fact i don't know if anyone else has been knocked out in this entire party in this campaign uh no not my uh, it's just hasn't. greg and yeah, grux smash good and, well, he doesn't Why really don't you use shields? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's resting time. Okay. Whether we want to or not, we cannot continue. <laughs> so you guys actually have a fairly restful sleep. Um, I'm just going to house rule for the time being that you just go up to full so I don't have to think about it. Yay! <laughs> and be, um, well, I think a full sleep, a full rest... Gives you all your hit die back and does re recover all your health. I don't. I don't, I don't know how it works. For now, I, until until you guys are like in trouble or like we need mm. to be more like stringent on it, you guys more or less just rest until you're fully healed. Um. And so when uh, you wake up in the so morning, so how many rations do we use? Because we haven't eaten in a long time. <laughs> uh, sleeping like this, uh, would take up one ration. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's say two, because you guys had to eat some kind of dinner and then breakfast. Okay, done and done. Okay. Glad you guys are still keeping track of that. <laughs> yeah, I think I have We've got all of our lists to click on. I have one, one left. Okay. Oh. Maybe we could have grabbed more instead of poisoning them. Yeah, well, you know, we all have to live with our mistakes. <laughs> so, when you guys wake up in the morning, uh, the water is, for the most part, gone. There are puddles everywhere, and things look pretty damn wet and muddy and whatnot. But it is all drained out. Uh, well, then let's investigate downstairs. Entirely sure why. Boop. Okay, so you go down the, uh, the still wet steps... Ooh, uh, ooh, there's this bedroom. Is this on a higher level? Yeah, so you, you go downstairs, and you're in a room filled with uh, barrels and boxes. The uh, That's enough. The barrels are watertight, uh, so you might be oh, able to find good. things in there. Yep. <laughs> uh, and this church anticipated. What about flooding. Skitter? He, uh, last time you he's... checked, he was still nailed to the ceiling. Okay, I'll go out there. So he much for watching over he him. He is <laughs> absolutely asleep. Uh, Skitter? <laughs> Rise and shine. Wake up. It's no. morning. Just leave Please me. Please wake up. Please wake up. This roof is literally the safest place I've been all week. Wake Please up. Please wake up, little skin. Get everybody in the pillow. I'll make up. <laughs> <laughs> chorus from the bell tower has <laughs> finally uh, roused him. I so he go gets up. He gets up. He he collects... Oh, no, we don't want to invite unwanted attention. He, he collects that. all of his... Oh, right. I actually didn't... Um, this version is not the one with the tree root. Okay, I'll fix that. Um, well. Eh. I uh, won't take too long. So you guys no are... No big deal, just got a retcon reality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. I was going to have that be more dynamic, and then things changed. Somebody took a raft ride. Um... <laughs> Uh, but so you guys, you guys are in a storeroom and the uh, kind of base of the bell tower. There's stuff maybe in the barrels if you bung them open, and that's it. So tell me what you do, and I'll. I'm gonna slowly work on getting the tree root in here, so you guys see what what's actually okay. here. Okay. Well, let's take a look inside these barrels. Hopefully, there's healing potions, rations. There are no healing potions. This is a church. Okay. The actually, church no. Hates there potions. would be. Now that I'm thinking yeah. about it, there would be healing potions in here. <laughs> we desperately need them. Okay. There's backless pews for the giants. Okay, so you actually find five healing potions. Uh, three regular ones and two of the higher grade ones that, that Keith had found. 
I can't tell if we're you forgot to draw these. backs for the pews or if they're designed for all the plus uh, size characters. So in the that area. I I copy pasted them, and apparently some of them didn't copy paste right. And ah. you also find four rations across the oh. barrels in okay, the room I'll you're be, in, and the ones take a healing slightly potion. down. Yeah. You could have just rolled the punches and called it like Anne Orlando, where it's half built for giants. <laughs> Oh wait, no, this all has to be human. Dark, souls. I forgot this is all like ex-human. Right. Uh, uh, so who's taking which healing potions? We have three the dose one and the dose special. I will take one regular healing potion. I need uh, to restock on specials. I'll take a I'll take a small one. All right, one left. <clears throat> oh, I mean, I was gonna take one. Okay, you take one out, Alarin, and then ah, uh, Drez, you take the 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 big boy ones. Okay. Map and background. You searching oh. for things? I'm going to walk into the main Sorry. area. I am. I am. <laughs> ah! <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> the screen's covered in another world. <laughs> it's like sliders. Uh. <laughs> okay, give me a second. It is currently. This thing does not scale well. <laughs> like Moonbeam. There you go. Okay, so now we have the. Uh, now we have the proper tree, included. Ah. It's oh. huge. Wow. Whoever made wow. this thing had some tree token. Is it vertical? <laughs> no, it's... Uh, it's like a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. It kind of, like, goes off it's and then kind token, of wraps around. The tree and token the size of that Mayan apocalypse calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Whomever had this tree token uh, could probably have destroyed... Quite a lot of stuff. They've it was they a whole tree outdoor pool. Yeah. Okay. A tree so, cul-de-sac. So you guys go out into the main room. Uh, well, the hallway. So there's a hallway. Uh, you've already been into the storeroom down to the bottom. I factored that in when you guys found the uh, stuff. There's also um, quite a couple of uh, flasks of holy water. Oh, okay. In there, like a whole case of them. So maybe twenty. Um. I don't know if you care about that. I'll take a couple and like, of them. You know, kind of some holy symbols, a lot of like well, scripture, as literature. Well, a paladin, I should take all the holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Clay up. You just chuck that in. Uh, I'm trying to think How if there's anything else. Again? Like 20 vials of yeah, holy 20, water? Yeah, 20 bi vials of holy water. Oh, can I take a couple of those? I could use those to maybe replenish my rapier. Uh, that's a good idea. You tend to do that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to do that a lot. Okay, there okay. we go. You get five whales. A okay, holy water rapier. Yeah, I mean, what if we have to fight vampires? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's cool. Very specifically. That, that's fine. What if we had to yeah. fight necromancer? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she sounded kind of nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vivi was a doll. Quite literally. But. What? Um, <laughs> She's being funny. Yeah, I am. Uh, she, she had infused her soul with a very large puppet-like mannequin. Oh, uh, that sounds terrifying. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> I mean, it sort of looked wooden, didn't really have much of a face, but it had... Oh, wow, uh, that I, sounds even more inviting. <laughs> eye holes that were glowing purple, and she had nice long hair. Cool, a, a wooden mannequin a with parent. hair and purple eyes. <laughs> That doesn't sound terrifying at all. You've really apparently Alaren swam to Silent Hill. <laughs> but, but she, she was actually going to. I like it how you're phasing through the wall here. Oh, you were in a five foot wide passage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's I didn't, like, woo. -hoo. I didn't. Re I thought this was just like a rug and no, like no, no. The parapet. No, this is this is like the back corridor behind the uh, pulpit. Pulpit. That's what I meant. Yes. Um. All right. Uh. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay, there is no, <laughs> there is no response. Hello. Okay, you knocked at the door. Well, I'm gonna go into the bedroom. Okay, I guess it's polite to knock at church. So yeah, they're following us to the service. bedroom. I don't want to interrupt. Okay, 
So there is... It was underwater. A, a small bedroom. There's like a, a pile of priest clothes that are, that are soggy and they're all kind of like mushed up in one corner. And uh, for the most part, it's just kind of empty. There's like a wet rug and a wet bed. Any Anything in this like bedside table or Yeah, desk? there's actually a little book there. Oh, okay. A soggy, soggy book. Can I look at it? Yes. So it is, uh, it's the priest's kind of like personal writing and stuff like that. It is like cover to cover filled with notes and like pages have been actually pasted in so that like it is bursting with the seams with uh, stuff. And surprisingly, it's um, not water damaged. Uh-huh. All right. Any, anything from the last entries? Uh, there's just so much scripture. It's all scripture? I. It seems like half of it's maybe self-invented. You're not entirely sure. Oh. oh Father oh. Noth. Oh, okay. I mean, this is probably just a, a kind of thing that he uses for his sermons. Yeah. He's, on a daily basis. He's writing hymns, and he's he's talking about the great god and all these, oh, like, no. fancy things. <laughs> well, I uh, thought that there was a There's druid. scriptures about how much they specifically hate bugbears and lizard men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what are some of the hymns in there? Um, okay, obviously we I shall have... <laughs> kill the bugbear. Yeah, show us all of your prepared notes, Wonderbot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this exact document. Your prepared notes are this map. And all the fancy art assets. The actual notes are in my brain. Uh, actually, no, I do actually have... I do have notes, but it's nothing specific because you guys keep destroying everything I try and, like, set down in stone. So at this point, I just have a... We keep uh, killing Google everything you love. <laughs> yeah, I have a Google Doc that's just... I'm sorry uh, we killed your Sonic OC. Uh, <laughs> I, I've got a Google Doc that's just, like, uh, guidelines. Good luck. Oh, anyway, God. <laughs> um, so... You're scanning through it. Uh, give me a uh, investigation check. Okay, investigation. I already did. Oh, never mind. Those that's the perception. One. Okay. Yeah. So you actually find quite a lot uh, as you're kind of flipping through it. Uh, you notice the tone of the journal actually changes fairly drastically. Okay. Um, you know, in the beginning, he seems kind of more like a, a, a just basic kind of guy, uh, just preaching. Uh, this is a this is a church specifically for soldiers. Uh, and this entire, like, town is actually kind of a, uh, not a base camp, but, like, soldiers specifically, like, come and live here and stuff like that. And who is their god? Um, well, so that's, that's the thing. This is kind of basic. And, uh, initially a lot of it is very, very distinctly, uh, pantheistic, polytheistic, uh, where he's, you know, including all of, all of the various gods, the gnomish gods, the human gods, the elven gods. Uh, some like more spiritualistic stuff because you know a lot of different soldiers a lot of different walks of life is it the typical sort of D&D fan yeah of kind yeah of gods? the basic pantheon um but you know maybe in the last third or so and this is kind of like a it's not just an immediate shift but um his his writings become more and more singularly monotheistic and uh, much more aggressive um as it goes on, and he and he's talking specific, specifically about the Great One's light, and you know that every everyone uh, you know is with him at, in this holy pur- purpose now, and you know life is wonderful and all this stuff. But what does it all mean, and where are all the inhabitants of the town? Obviously, some of them have probably gotten washed out, but even then, you'd think you'd find some corpses somewhere. Oh. Well, you'll find out on the next episode of Dungeons and Dragons Grave of Man